Seriously, and suddenly it rose to the top of the list, and everybody said that's fine. is a classic rock horn band consisting of 13 members. They began playing together in May of 2006. Bass player Toby Kurtwright and alto sax player Russ Peterson worked together getting local talented musicians and arranging classical 70s rock tunes. After a minimal number of rehearsals, PTFS had their first gig and amazed the Fargo-Moorhead community with their talent, energy, and music. There's certainly a sense of classic rock in the repertoire, so, you know, kind of our core repertoire is 80s or 70s um, funk style music from bands like Earth, Wind and & Fire and James Brown and stuff, which I think there's certainly a, a group of people out there who have always liked that kind of music, either ever since they were, that, they were young in that era or having encountered it later, they grooved on it, you know. Well, I just think the style of music we're playing, I mean, there aren't many horn bands to speak of. It's hard to make a horn band work because you have that many people in the band. Most people are in bands to make money, you know, as weekend gigs or something like that, where I think since we're not so concerned with that, it's, we can make it work with 13 people in a band. Even to coordinate that sort of thing, rehearsals, performances, whatever, I think it's difficult for anyone to try and put together a band that can play that style of music. But it helps that the entire group of professionals, they know what they're doing, they can read, you know, and it, it makes things work. So well. Three or four rehearsals. We had two rehearsals and we did our first game four hours. We don't practice much. <laughs> That's not yeah. our forte. Actually, the cool thing about this band is it attracts all ages. First of all, because it's it's classic rock music that everybody loves. And and you've got people who are like in their 50s and 60s, they kind of grew up with this music. And and then you've got 30-year-olds who were like second generations to this music. You know, I didn't grow up with in the 60s listening to this, but I heard it a lot in the 70s and 80s. And then you've got 20-year-olds 
who who like it because it's retro. I have noticed that it there's there's a more eclectic crowd. Um, just a wider range of age groups watching. It's not just the college crowd or the high school crowd. There's there's a bigger range of. I mean, I could I could take my parents to this gig and we'd all enjoy it. of the audience probably varies because it's 70s rock so this music has been around for a while so the older people are just gonna go there and listen and recognize it and enjoy themselves and the younger crowd I mean it's obviously a social event so they're gonna go there and enjoy themselves as well and I guess I started going because of the familiarity with the band. Um, I know Russ Peterson, Nat Dickey, and you know several students have them as professors, so all of their students are there and there for support for the band. It's not the same stuff that everyone plays, and I remember thinking this is exactly what's going to make them popular because they are. And now, I mean, now that it's been a few months since that first gig that I went to, it really has shown that they're, they are, they're getting bigger. I think, I think they're going to make a huge impact. Pocket box, pocket box. When you get the notion. The age of technology is evident between post-traumatic funk syndrome and their audience. Ranging from email updates for fans to quality sound equipment, at least some of PTFS's popularity is affected by such technological advances. Well, generally, when you have 13 people in the band, you know, the word does tend to spread very quickly. I mean, each person tells 10 people to come to a show. For most part, 130 people have to work, there's quite a few. So. Mm -hmm. It, it, yeah, word spreads pretty quickly in that group. The repertoire of PTFS seems to be an important factor in attracting an audience of such variety. Likewise, the size of the band also increases the number of personal contacts between fans and performers. 